So, show's <laughs> over. We're we're trying to recover. Yeah. The, one of my favorite things is kind of like sound checks when you get to see behind the scenes. Oh, you love those. I do. So this footage, this is an opportunity to see a little behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, the setup, the yeah. technicians, some of the run throughs, all the other kinds of stuff. We're where we shoot our show. Yeah, where we absolutely. And thanks it's, to Westlake Pro. And well, we do it with our partners, Westlake Pro, and. So folks who watch this get a chance to go, oh, that is how that's done. Oh, that's how. So this- And it gives a chance for about a thousand people that were there on uh, August 20th to know that you're still alive. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> still, We've still, got video proof for still you. Beating. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, it's well, over. Uh, <laughs> What's it, that old joke? Why are you hitting your head against the wall? It feels so good when I stop. Yeah, exactly. I felt good when it was over. Yeah, that's... But it, you know what? It was, uh, thanks to your efforts, it was uh, so many incredible moments, and uh, it, it's my favorite one yet. It's the enormity of it that a lot of people don't know. Like, there's oh, yeah. so many yeah. behind-the-scenes pieces. There's... Mm-hmm. I think it's eight different teams, yeah. right? So we've got the technical team. Um, you know, Jonathan Dean heads up at least the content capture side. Kevin Sanford in terms of the event, the overall television side. Pensado Awards 3 was really focused on raising the bar in terms of the experience of everyone, you know, bringing everyone together in celebration. And that goes from everything from the technology utilized behind the scenes, having more compelling content, and really just, you know, creating a great event to bring everyone together. You know, this year was really smooth just because the crew was really well rehearsed. The Sony staff, as well as Kevin Sanford's team, was absolutely top notch, and uh, I think it was a it was a really really great experience. I was backstage um, at the technical direction station, um, and basically we were just calling out camera shots, searching for audience reactions, uh, and looking for old friends and such to cut to. I remember I kept texting you saying, wait, I'm going to come, have you come to rehearsal? Well, no, don't come to rehearsal. What, mm-hmm. come to rehearsal. Mm-hmm. Those run-throughs are actually made more complicated because we do it at Sony because we can't utilize the whole day to load in because mm-hmm. they work there during the day. So yeah. we have to load in early in the morning, do nothing during the day, and then jam at night, mm-hmm. and then we rehearse again on Saturdays where I think you know there was a lot of footage captured of rehearsals, sitting around the table, and it's... You kind of go into a war zone for like 72 hours and then you hope yeah. you emerge a winner. Well, for you, you go into war zone in it's October. A little early. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> a, a little early. The year before. But, but I'm, I'm curious your observations of it um, because you, obviously you're intimately involved in it, but you get to kind of look at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get to look at its finished product mm-hmm. while it's going on. It's, it's Not interesting. Too to, much because I'm backstage too. Um, you're watching on a monitor backstage. But yeah, yeah, this year I snuck out when, when Phil X was doing his solo. Right. I ran out and uh, you saw me sneaking out. <laughs> talk so much about the award show, seeing it materialize and come to fruition mm-hmm. and, and all that, it, it has to be an amazingly rewarding feeling for you to see 
all these concepts and thoughts and how the crowd is going to react because you spend so much time on on what the crowd's going to think and mm -hmm. how they're going to feel it mm -hmm. pacing timing from the moment that we are going to open the doors till the moment we leave it's just a ton of detail um i don't know why i don't know where that came from i don't know why i'm constructed that way